without a doubt, the number two question that I get when getting ready to get in the water or either exiting the water is, what is that thing on top of your camera? Well, today I'm going to answer that question, guys, and it is the Ninja 5 by Atomos. It is an external monitor and recorder, and today's video, we're going to take a look at it, so stick with us. What's up guys, my name's Jeff, and on this channel, along with my wife Sarah and our son Evan, we look at the beauty of the underwater world through the lens of the adventure of it all. Guys, if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, definitely hit that subscribe button below and ring that bell notification so that you never miss a dive, but you've already subscribed. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. It means the world to us. In today's video though, we are not gonna be diving. We are gonna be taking a look at the Ninja 5 by Atomos, the external monitor and recorder that we use to capture the majority of the video that we see in our dives. The number one thing that I absolutely love about the Ninja 5 here is the fact that it is first and foremost a monitor. It has a five inch screen to it that is 1920 by 1080 so we can see in full HD what is going on as it happens because underwater we're limited with our bottom time and we need to be able to see the shot quickly and be able to assess if it's what we wanted or if we've got to reshoot it there. So being able to see it in a five inch screen is just invaluable. Along with that, the playback feature that it has here is also invaluable, so that if Evan is shooting me on video, I can then swim back over to him, he can hit the play button, and we can look at it together and decide underwater as it's happening whether or not we want to redo that shot. So just having the monitor here with the playback feature, invaluable tool for us. So second on the list is the fact that it grabs awesome quality video and can record it for us. So in our underwater housing here for our camera, which is a Panasonic GH5S, and we've got another housing up here for the Atomos Ninja 5, uh, we've got them connected with an HDMI 2.0 cable. And the Ninja 5 here will work with any camera that will output with an HDMI cable, so you're actually not limited to what kind of camera you can use here. But we've got a Panasonic GH5S that we've got this all connected to. Again, we've got a HDMI 2.0 cable here, which means that we can actually output in 4K 10-bit 422. So we've got some amazing quality video that we can actually capture and record right on this device. So number three on our list is the fact that this is not just a monitor and a recorder, but it's fully functional in that it has a ton of features in here. Now there's too many for me to really go through in this video. I'm just going to do a quick overview of things here, but uh, we love the zebra stripes that this will put on there so that we can see if there are any areas in the sand or the sky and the water that are blown out for us. So the zebra stripes is an awesome tool. We've also got focus peaking in there, which really helps us make sure that our shot is focused and good to go. And again, all that means to say is that we are limited on our bottom time, so we've got to act quickly to get that right shot. And this thing really helps us do that with all the features that are just jam-packed into it. And the fact that we can update it on a regular basis with uh, the new features from Atomos just makes it that much better. So really the fourth reason that we absolutely love this thing is because of the battery life that we can get out of it. So on the back we can put a giant Sony battery, so one of these standard batteries here, and out of this we will get maybe two to three hours of runtime. So we have more than enough time uh, to just continuously run this device while underwater, and then we'll be charging up another one of these in between dives so that we can usually get at least two dives out of this with a bottom time of anywhere between 45 minutes to an hour on just one single battery, but uh, we'll always have a backup charging as well, and we can swap it out after a dive or two. Second to that, the hard drive. So on here we've got a one terabyte, SSD hard drive, so we've got tons of room to record all the video that we need until our heart's content. Guys, there are just so many reasons why we really love taking the Ninja 5 underwater, but those are our top ones for sure. If you haven't yet, definitely hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so that you never miss a dive. And if you haven't seen one of our dive videos yet, certainly check that out here at the end as well. And if you were wondering what that number one question I get out of the water is, definitely check out this video on how we record our audio while underwater. But guys, be safe, have fun diving, and we will see you underwater. <laughs> 